thank you everybody for your incredible comments, encouragement, support. I really appreciate it. Um, it's very inspirational and motivates me to continue making these videos. Today's subject is every day is Halloween. And going back to our inner compass and our internal feedback mechanism that resides within us, that when we practice stillness, we're very connected to it. We can feel the positive and negative energy flowing through us as feedback based on our actions, our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings. So tapping into that resource, I noticed the great burden that this that is pushed on the, the spirit when we put on a mask. And it's so subtle, we don't realize we even do it, but we're constantly wearing masks. We wear a mask that we take to work. We have a mask and we take it uh, home with our spouse and our children. We wear another mask with friends. We wear another mask when we're around spiritual, enlightened people. We wear another mask when we're out drinking. Whatever your activity is, we have a mask for it. And I think there, the mask is subliminally saying that we're not good enough as we are. And this creates that negative charge within us and a stress of trying to be somebody we're not. And I think this efforting and struggle and trying and continuous battle of trying to be someone you're not suffocates the spirit. Now, noticing young children, young children do not wear the mask. Very young children. They have no real concept of mask and they don't even know how to put it on. And what masks enable us to do, it's an artificial way to manipulate and control people. You know, you're really nice to the people that are above you because you want something from them. You wear a different mask to the people below you because you don't necessarily need to be so kind and nice to them. What I'm saying is trying to put down all the, all the masks, setting all the masks aside and saying, you know what, I'm going to be me, flaws and all. And, you know, when I put on my mask, my mask has, the paint is chipping there is um, holes in the mask. The mask is disheveled. The mask is falling apart when I put on my mask. And you know, the beautiful thing is, is it's okay with me. It's okay that I have a, a flawed mask. And once you start living and practicing wearing the, your true, <laughs> being your true nature, it's, it's a strange thing happens. People find that attractive. People maybe that you normally wouldn't have drawn towards you, you start exuding your true nature, your true energy. And that is a, a freedom and a liberation because we waste so much spiritual juice trying to fuel an artificial me, an artificial self. Because we think and we've been conditioned, we're not good enough. Who we are is not, the mask with all the flaws is everything, is not good enough. So I got to clean it up and I got to pretend it's pretty and I got to act a certain way. Giving that up is taking a huge weight and burden off your shoulder. And then what happens is you can devote all that wasted energy inward and in tapping your spiritual center. That ever-flowing stream of energy that charges your life. And it's, I think what people seek in inner peace and what people seek in happiness and what people seek in love is to be found not going outside yourself, not trying to change the world, not trying to change other people. But first, the first step is accepting yourself accepting everything about you and then being comfortable walking in your own skin. And this is not something that happens overnight. It takes practice. It's weird. Why does being yourself take so much practice? 
I don't know. I think it's because we've been so conditioned from a very young age not to be ourselves. We get rewarded and punished based on the mask that we wear. When we wear the, the obedient, acquiescent mask, we get rewarded. When we wear a mask that is speaks up for himself, is really confident, has their own mind, doesn't conform, we get punished. So that is the struggle. And that goes back to the challenge of shedding your skin, shedding the things which burden down, burden your spirit. And enlightenment is not about adding to, it's about getting rid of. So getting rid of all those masks and starting small and saying, you know what, I'm going to start maybe with, the, with child, the, my children. I'm going to start with uh, the boss at work. I'm going to start with a friend, just being myself. And I am, in doing so, I'm going to embrace the disapproval. The disapproval of being myself is feedback that I'm on the right track. I'm on the right course. And then you just, a, a glow emanates from you because you don't have to worry about pleasing people. You don't have to worry about what people think. You can just be yourself. Thanks for listening. Comments always appreciated. Fantastic comments. Keep them coming. Bye.